What's going on YouTube, GSNR8 here. Apple finally fixed one of the biggest issues in iOS 26 beta. And yes, you probably know the iOS 26 developer beta is out. First beta was out a couple of weeks ago and now we have the beta 2. But in beta 1, Apple introduced that horrendous control center you're seeing right now on the screen. Yes. You could not tell where the control center began and where the icons in the background ended. It was horrific. And a lot of people were pretty vocal about it on Twitter, on YouTube comments and stuff like that. But it's finally fixed. As you can see, this is the control center right now on iOS 26 developer beta 2. And you can actually see the difference. There is finally more blur. You can see the actual proper icons and it doesn't look as bad anymore. However, I'm going to show you how to make it even better. If you're running the developer beta 2, go here in settings go to accessibility over here and then to display and text over here and then reduce transparency if you enable this and you go now here in the control center as you can see it now has a solid color in there making it even more legible if you prefer it that way if you prefer the new updated version of the control center which has more blur to it but still keeps that glass effect then you have it right here so yes they finally did it they finally completely fixed this issue it looked completely horrendous but do tell me down below if you preferred it that way because many many people said that oh it was better in beta 1 they preferred it that way i personally prefer it the new way with a little bit more blur so that i can distinguish between the plates of the uh, control center and the background and icons on the home screen but tell me what you prefer in the comments below overall ios 26 shapes to be one of the greatest iOS changes in history. And yeah, it's on par with the iOS 7 when everything changed on iOS. However, there are still things to address and this was one of them. Though if you don't like it and you would prefer to go back to iOS 18, you should know that it's still signed. You can still go back, even if you upgraded to iOS 26, you can downgrade to iOS 18.5 and of course have the iOS 18 experience once again. That's essentially it. I'm glad it's finally fixed. Tell me down below which one of the control centers you prefer, the beta 1 version or beta 2. Until next time, also check out the Offensive iOS Internals course by 8 Sec. They provide a self-paced course over here for those of you who are interested in iOS security, building your own jailbreak, securing your iOS applications, over 92 videos or 14 hours of great iOS stuff like reverse engineering and so on. Definitely check it out down below. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.